I just want to say one thing um, following Gaetan's remarks. It's true that Gaetan is taking a risk by what he's doing. But to those people up there who are listening, what did you expect him to do? What did you think a man like Gaetan was going to do facing the kind of intimidation and threats and attempts to undermine his work that you're loading down on him? Yes. Wasn't it inevitable that he was going to stand up and defy you? Wasn't it inevitable he was going to take a stand? Yes. And he's taking a risk, but it's down to the community here now. It's down to the community to defend Gaetan. They better understand that if they're going to move against this man, they are going to have the community after them. People are not going to tolerate <coughs> Gaetan being victimised. People are going to stand up and defend him. What is happening here today is only the beginning. So we're going to introduce speakers now. I'll ask uh, Kathy Crow to speak. Thank you very much. Thank you. Gaetan, we will not let you be evicted sent out of the downtown core to Scarborough. We will not let that happen. Yeah! And should the people inside decide to do that, that will light a match in this community. I want to speak mostly about a group that has been pulled together, and it includes all of you, and it's a group called Friends of Street Health. And we have been fighting against the union busting and other activities, and we're here today to speak in support of Gaetan. So people say, who are the friends of street health? And people are inside there are saying, ha, huh, FOS stands for full of shit. <laughs> and uh, I'm sad to say that was a, 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 a nurse that said that to me, a street health nurse. FOS, friends of street health, she says, stands for full of shit. Well, let me tell you who those members are, Gaetan. Sister Susan was going to be here today, but one of her uh, sisters died in, in her, her convent. Uh, she sends you her love. She wants me to tell people she's known you 20 years, and you have the love of people in their heart, and she is a friend of street health. I also want to say that some of the other people, some may or may not be here today, include members from Park a drop-in center in the West End. Uh, the Nurses Union, ONA, the Nurses Professional Group, RNAO, a group in Montreal that obviously supports you, Coalition Against Repression and Police Violence, a number of union locals, long, long-time activists and workers in these issues like Walter Cavalieri, nurses and doctors and health workers, like Ann Egger is obviously here, Marion Garfinkel, Catherine Oliver, a doctor in the West End, Bill Worrell from the West End, people that have worked and supported in solidarity homeless people's fights for years. Now, Friends of Street Health, uh, many people have written letters to the board, many people have written letters to the head of uh, Neighborhood uh, Post, and I want to read one that's very important from Susan Bender because she was uh, a team leader of the project here that Gaetan works in for two and a half years. She asked me to read it. She's sorry she couldn't be here today. So Susan writes, The effectiveness of the paid project will be undermined by moving Gaetan out of this physical community. I am deeply concerned about it, what it will mean for homeless people to relocate. No informal contact to build relationships. Less contact with a trusted worker who can help deal with the barriers and issues that make it hard to get ID. No ability to access the service without a lot of planning in lives that are already full of stress and events that make planning and following through every time difficult. Onerous travel time and transportation costs to make up for lack of access. In short, if Gaetan is moved away from the downtown core, homeless people's access to their ID and the services they require will be dramatically reduced. Friends of Street Health is going to grow. We are going to host a community forum on Wednesday, December 9th at 6 p.m. in the John Innes Gym. And we're going to fill that gym, right? And we're going to poster and we're going to flyer and that group is going to grow. 
and I hope you're listening and you're welcome to come out and change your mind. Yeah. Because <laughs> Kay John is program. not leaving this corner. Thank Woo! you. Yeah. I'm not Kathy Hardle, but I am Snoopy. <laughs> Kay John, you're not moving nowhere. If I have to move back down to Toronto, you ain't moving nowhere. And if it wasn't for Dylan Baker, Kathy Hardle and Kathy Cole, this street house wouldn't be here. And what are they doing, putting the money in their own goddamn pockets so uh, k Don can't get paid? I wish Silent Baker and Kathy and Kathy Hardo and Kathy Crow were still at Street Health. I was the first secretary of Street Health. I hope you guys are listening. And k Don, I love you. I've, I've known you since Street Health started. Well, I'm Don White, and I must say that a lot of Although I'm not as active as I once was, but my community work with psychiatric survivors and people, sorry, and people who've been homeless, who've been in the bin, Queen Street and around the street, Gaetan inspired me, and he's been a very close friend and support, and he's very sensitive to the problems and issues of psychiatric survivors here in Cabbage Town and elsewhere. And I've been very, very inspired. And I thank you, Gaetan, as well as John and OCAP, for getting me involved with trying to do what I can in a small way with people who are about to become homeless and who've been brutalized by the psychiatric system. And Gaetan understands the vulnerability, the vulnerability of people who've been brutalized, severely drugged, and abused in other ways in the system and around the street. And it's because of you, Gaetan, a lot that I that I continue to keep, to try to do what I can for the people who are on the street as much as I can wherever that they are. And over my dead body, Gaetan will be moved. Gaetan, you will not be moved. We will not be moved. You will not be moved. If they go after you, they got to deal with all of us. All of us. So we have to, have to. An attack on Gaetan is an attack on Sherburn Dundas community and all street workers and all homeless people in Toronto. Right. and all psychiatric survivors are on the street so we have to stand together and they will we will not be moved gay tan will stay gay tan will stay Thank you.